The protection of the First Amendment is constantly under threat, especially now in the cyber age, Nebraska law professor Marvin Amore told journalism students today. Amore took part in the First Amendment Tested and on Trial, a series hosted by the Meek School of Journalism and New Media. Amore says the Internet is now the new public square where people debate, and it's important to keep that area open to free speech. That, that's the new streets and parks where people have their debates. And to the extent there are threats to freedom of speech online, those are threats to the emerging public sphere. And I think we've got to get it right now. If we set up our internet ecosystem in a way that people are used to being censored, or used to not being able to say certain things, or used to not having to pay extra to say certain things or communicate in certain ways, I think that's a big problem. We've got to make sure we, get, we set the rules right now so we have the right expectations as a society. Ole Miss professor Mark Dolan hopes panels like this one will get students to think about their responsibilities as journalists. Yes, I hope it will get them thinking about the freedoms that they, that, that they, have, they may have come to sort of a, uh, accept passively as just, just a given and to think about um, you know, the role that they have in making sure that information gets to the public, whether they are in, in the marketing field, whether they are traditional print or broadcast journalists, um, especially if they are choosing to work in an online medium. There's a debate right now about the future of newspapers, about the future of journalism, about the future of public broadcasting, which is now public media, over lots of different platforms. There's a, uh, there are debates over the openness of the internet, debates over whether or not all Americans get access to the internet, and the question of who can communicate, who can receive information, and how in what ways is a question that must be foremost on the minds of journalists as they're graduating. Dwight Tweeter, Jr., University of Tennessee Professor of Journalism and co-author of The Law of Mass Communications, 11th edition, and noted Jackson Media Law Attorney Leonard Van Slyke, Jr., who works with public records issues and open meetings violations under Mississippi law, also took part in the panel discussion.